In one of the previous published videos I was showing the comparison between the results created by an Einscan HX and the Zeiss CT scanner metronome. In this video I am going to show you how I was creating the dataset with the Einscan HX without seeing the markers on the surface of the scan. So here you can see the open project from the cylinder from the pictures before. Um, this was a project where I didn't want to have these um, holes that are normally created by the software. So they are not necessarily holes, there is some uncertainties in the surface. And um, I just wanted to avoid them here because um, there is some functional areas like on the top of the flange and so on where I need the data to be clean and not disturbed by any kind of the marker holes. Marker holes are filled up by the software and not in a flat way. In some areas you will see some merge effects that I don't want here. So how did I get around that? Um, there is different ways to do it, but I will show you today what is the most um, common or easiest way in my opinion to do it. So you see here there is a lot of marker points on the cylinder, but they hadn't been there on the part. Not so many of them. Actually, these markers that you see here in pair that are near each other, they are the same markers but dislocated. So. I was doing it like this, so let's unshow quite a lot of that um, views that it's clearer using project groups uh, is important in this case. So I was doing the first scan and after you stop the scan with the stop button generate point cloud you will have uh, the possibility to opt for um, creating a new project group. So. I was scanning the first scan, um, was naming it top view because it was more or less scanned from the top of the CR250 cylinder and um, I finished the scan with uh, additional views of all the areas that I was interested in, not dislocating the, the markers so far and after I finished um, with most important areas there was let's say um, some area I had created um, a scan for in the outlet port that is quite deep to capture more in inside there. I was creating um, a new set of scans, in this case project groups, with dislocated markers. That means here it's written this that I know what is meant. Um, <clears throat> I just will unshow what is not so important in this moment. I created more or less the same area like in the top. Um, I didn't take so much time on it, like on the first scan you see there is a lot of holes, a lot of holes in that scan, but it's not needed. I just mm, just dislocated that markers, like you can see here. I just moved them um, in some way that I was sure that they are not shown anymore in uh, one of the views. So. If you scan it like this, you dislocate the markers, um, then you have always the area where the markers have been before, um, free of markers in one of the views. So the scan program has the information of the surface for sure, and you will be able to create it without any kind of the marker artifacts that's created by the software automatically. So remember you will scan the part twice with dislocated markers but you don't have to scan it twice um, in the same uh, let's say quality. What in the second uh, scan is important that you just rescan the areas where there was markers dislocated. So it's not the double amount of time for sure not. You will be easily make this in a few minutes more and you will have uh, the surface that you will see later on. So let's make the different um, options like I said before um, to show you what will happen. So I just 
will show the views that are necessary for the surface information that I wanted to scan but with no dislocation of the marker. So let's see what will happen. Then I will click onward to type because I am having here a scan example where there is missing quite a lot of areas. So if I will create uh, something watertight, he will have to interpolate, interpolate uh, um, a lot of surfaces together and it will look horrible in most of the cases. So I will start just calculating the mesh, not as watertight, just as a surface. What can happen right now is that you see that um, he doesn't even recognize the markers as markers. Um, it's for the program in some cases not clear um, that it was a marker. Here he was um, recognizing them how he should it. And this is the normal problems that you will face um, by the correction of markers and the cutout from the software. Um, this is happening because he doesn't really exactly know how the let's say contour around the marker looks like so he's making some let's say more or less rounded areas around the markers if he recognizes them here it didn't even happen so it's actually not idle so we go one step back and um, first we will have to confirm because he will not let us out of the menu we will go one step back and we will activate the rest of the view so all that mesh should be closed because there is always one um, area where there had been markers after dislocation and the area was scanned properly so he should theoretically have all the information that he needs to create a proper geometry without let's say big errors of uh, markers or at least with no errors of four markers. And here we are. After closing that holes with an additional set of scans in the areas where the markers have been dislocated I would say it's quite fine. It looks really, really good. There is in some areas some very, very small rest of the edges, uh, it seems like. You can see it as well. I was using this model as well for that comparison video with the CT scan font size. So there is. Um, visible that areas but they are so small that they will not matter and what is interesting to me what I don't get really um, from software side but I will ask you that to the developers that it's just happening in a few cases actually here I can see some shadow um, in the surface but it's really nearly nothing I tested it out it's more or less irrelevant and here but nevertheless there is the original surface with the cast pores and uh, it's fine actually it doesn't harm the scan and the function but it's interesting that there is in some cases some small rest from from one of the dislocated markers yeah well that's it this is the result and um, I got to say I'm really surprised this is not nearly maximum resolution and even with um, merging um, more scans of the same views you lose a little detail in the surfaces but it's still really fine you can really accurately read the cast numbers of the of the part the brand from uh, let's say uh, the casting and so on so yeah, that's how you can get rid um, of marker holes and marker noise and 
see you next time for the next video with new tips and new tricks how to scan.